Every day, nearly $800 million worth of goods crosses between Canada and the United States, and almost 25% of it depends on just one bridge, the Aging Ambassador Bridge. One breakdown, one traffic jam, and the ripple effects could freeze two entire economies. Why bet everything on a 95-year-old structure? That's the gamble both nations have been living with. Until now, a colossal $6.4 billion mega project, the Gordie Howe International Bridge, is rising to rewrite the future of North American trade, but why did it take decades to finally build it? And how will it completely transform trade and travel between two of the world's largest economies? Stay with us till the end, the full story will blow your mind. The Ambassador Bridge has carried the weight of Canada, US trade for nearly a century. Opened in 1929, it was once celebrated as an engineering marvel. Today, it's a bottleneck. Every day, over 40,000 vehicles, mostly commercial trucks, squeeze across it, making it the busiest international border crossing in North America by trade volume, but it's outdated, privately owned, and prone to traffic chaos. Structurally sound, but operationally overwhelmed, it was never designed for the crushing demand of 21st century global trade. Repairs, protests, even blockades, the ambassador has seen it all. Each incident sends ripples across both countries' economies, costing millions in delays. Now think bigger, what if it suddenly closed for good? Border delays, disrupted supply chains, factory shutdowns, empty grocery shelves, that's not speculation, that's the daily risk Canada and the US live with. Leaders on both sides of the border knew they couldn't keep playing with fire. It wasn't enough to patch the old bridge anymore. It was time for a backup plan, not just another bridge, but a modern, resilient lifeline built for two economies that rely on each other more than ever. Enter the Gordie Howe International Bridge. At first glance, it looks like something out of a sci-fi film, mass sleek, futuristic. But look closer, and the real magic begins. Stretching an astonishing 2.5 kilometers across the Detroit River, it'll be the longest cable-stayed bridge in North America, and one of the longest in the world. Its two towering A-shaped pylons rise 220 meters into the sky that's taller than most skyscrapers in either Detroit or Windsor. These soaring towers will anchor 216 high-tension cable stays that fan out and hold the entire bridge deck in balance. Six wide lanes of traffic will move smoothly across it, plus a dedicated multi-use path for pedestrians and cyclists, a historic first for any Canada-US land crossing. Security features, smart technology, and green energy elements are being embedded right into the design. This isn't just a bridge, it's a bold new symbol of precision, ambition, and unity built to withstand the next century's demands. This isn't just about getting from A to B, it's about money and lots of it. The new bridge is expected to slide over 850,000 hours of truck delays every single year. Think about that, 850,000 hours that drivers won't be stuck idling, burning fuel, wasting time. Less waiting means faster shipments, cheaper goods for consumers, and an enormous boost to cross-border efficiency. Right now, the Detroit-Windsor corridor already handles over $100 billion in trade annually. That's more than the total annual trade between the US and many entire countries. And with the Gordie Howe Bridge, Experts believe that number could climb even higher as businesses capitalize on the new streamlined flow of goods and services. And it's not just about trucks and cargo. Thousands of jobs have already been created during construction engineers, welders, steel workers, electricians, architects all putting their skills to work on one of the most complex infrastructure projects in North America. But the opportunities won't stop once the ribbon is cut. Border services officers, customs officials, toll operators, maintenance crews, they'll all be needed to keep this massive operation running smoothly. For Windsor and Detroit, the bridge isn't just concrete and steel. It's a long-term economic engine firing up both sides of the river for decades to come. But this project isn't just about business deals and trade routes. It's about people and the neighborhoods that surround it. Through the Gordie Howe Bridges Community Benefits Plan, $20 million is being directly invested back into the Windsor and Detroit communities. This means more than just concrete upgrades. New parks are being developed, bike paths are being laid down to reconnect neighborhoods once divided by heavy industry and border traffic. Streets are being improved, sidewalks widened, community centers revitalized. Local artists are even being commissioned to tell the rich, layered stories of these historic border towns through murals, sculptures, and public installations. Environmentally, the bridge project aims to set new standards for responsible construction. Native plants are being reintroduced to restore lost green spaces. Stormwater systems are being designed to protect the river from runoff pollution. 
environment, crews are using eco-friendly practices whenever possible from waste management to energy efficiency on site. This isn't just about building over a river, it's about reconnecting a region that's been divided for too long. It's about healing old wounds, creating new spaces for families, workers, and travelers, and proving that massive infrastructure can and should leave communities better than it found them. So how's it going? Pretty fast considering it's one of the most complex infrastructure projects in North American history. The bridge's towers are fully built. Work on the main deck has been accelerating, with both sides inching closer to meeting in the middle. Despite pandemic delays, including a 10-month pause in certain supply chains, the project is still on track for a late 2025 opening. That might seem far away, but in mega project terms, that's lightning speed. On the ground, the Canadian and US ports of entry are almost done. Customs plazas, inspection areas, and access roads are all shaping up. It's not just a bridge being built, it's an entire cross-border system. But this wasn't a smooth ride. In fact, the project was nearly killed before it started. Why? The Ambassador Bridge's billionaire owner who profits from tolls fought hard to block the new bridge. He launched lawsuits, ran political ads, and tried to delay approvals for years. Meanwhile, Canadian officials had to go it alone. Canada is funding almost the entire project from bridge construction to the US port of entry because political gridlock in the US made joint funding impossible. That's right, Canada is building on American soil. That level of commitment shows just how vital this bridge is to Canada's economy. The Gordie Howe Bridge isn't just a mega structure, it's a mega statement. A declaration that Canada and the US are preparing for the future together. When it opens, it will ease one of the world's most congested trade routes, cut emissions from idling trucks, and offer a new level of security and redundancy. It's not just about fixing today's problems, it's about laying the foundation for the next 100 years of trade, travel, and cooperation. And for cities like Detroit and Windsor, long plagued by industrial decline, this bridge could be the spark that ignites a new economic chapter. Two nations, one bridge, and $6.4 billion that could change everything. The Gordie Howe International Bridge isn't just a project, it's a promise. A promise of faster trade, stronger economies, cleaner infrastructure, and deeper ties between Canada and the US. When it opens in 2025, it won't just carry traffic, it'll carry hope, ambition, and the momentum of two countries that bet on the future. So, what do you think will this bridge live up to the hype? Could it become a model for how modern nations build together? Drop your thoughts in the comments. Hit that like button if you learned something new and don't forget to subscribe and smash the bell icon because we've got more mega project stories coming your way and you won't want to miss a single one.